Welcome to this week's video and we're looking at something that I came across whilst looking through my coin collection and I thought well I've never done a video on that so why not show it off. So what we've got is a 2015 coin set which highlights the changing of the Queen's portrait which is just a fantastic set and I cannot wait to show it off to you. So this is how it was presented as you can still see it has the wrapping on it that is the front and back but of course i'm going to do my usual thing now where i open it up so i can show you everything that's going on inside and there we have it with the packaging taken away you can see it a lot more clearly now less glare and that's the back so what we've got is these slide out boxes so I'll just take all of that and put that to one side. And then what we've got is two separate folders and an information card. So let's have a look at the information card first. And what I'm gonna do is just scan each page long enough, leave it there so that you can pause it and read it at your own pace. And then on the back of this information card, you can actually see these cool images or the four previous images of the Queen's portraits. So 1953, 1968, 1985, and 1998. So what I'll do is I'll just show off this information so that you can have a read of that. Now we're gonna have a look at the coins themselves in turn. We're going to start off with the Ian Rank Broadley fourth portrait of the Queen, and then we're going to move on and have a look at Jody Clark's fifth portrait. So let's just put the Jody Clark set to one side and focus on this one for now. So you can see the image there. That is the fourth portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. And this is the back. So let's just have a look at some of that information there. And then inside again this just slots out and we can get rid of that and then what we've got is the image again and let's open it up and have a look at all this information so before we get onto the coins themselves i'm just going to scan and again feel free to pause and have a read at your own pace if needs be And then we've got a bit of information there about the artist, Ian Rank Broadley. An image there. And then this information. And then we have the coin specs if you want to have a look at those. And now we're on to the coins themselves and we're looking at the reverse of the designs so that we can see this shield. And then we see the shield in the one pound coin in its entirety. And you'll notice that we're actually looking at the obverse of the two pound coin, which is the same in both sets. I think with that, they just wanted to show off the obverse design on each side. So that's pretty cool. Let's just have a closer look at those and see the condition of these coins. And then once again at the bottom, we see the four previous designs before Jody Clark's and on this one we're going to see Ian Rank Broadley's design and then we're having a look at the obverse of the coin so we're going to see that fourth portrait and of course the two pound now we can see the reverse and then a quote there from Ian Rank Broadley himself I hope that in time I may be regarded as having made a valuable contribution to the rich and varied history of coinage in this country. When I see my initials IRB beneath the royal effigy on the coins as a record of my achievement, I feel honoured. Let's have a closer look at one of the coins. So let's check out my favourite of the coins, which is the 50p. And there's a little bit of toning on that, but it doesn't matter. It adds a bit of character to the coin. But that's it. That is the fourth portrait from Ian Rank Broadley. And now we move on to 
Jodie Clark's fifth portrait of the Queen. So same as before, it's got its own sleeve. And then on the back, we've got a little bit of information there. So feel free to have a read of that. So let's get into these. There we go. Same as the outer sleeve. And let's get into the information. And as with the previous presentation, a little bit of information about the coin designer. And then the coin specs again. And there we have it, the reverse of these coins. Apart from, of course, the two pound coin, which we can see the obverse of, but we're seeing the shield design again. And then, of course, the obverse of the rest of the coins. And then this time a quote from Jodie Clark. I hope that I've done the Queen justice and captured her as I intended in a fitting representation. The news that my design had been chosen was quite overwhelming and I still can't quite believe that my portrait will feature on millions of coins. They'll be everywhere and are likely to be around forever. And there it is, a close up look of the 50 pence coin with JC underneath the Queen and what we now know as the fifth portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. So there we have it, that is the 2015 set which shows off the fourth and fifth portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. I want to know in the comment section below, have you got this set? And also, which of these two images of the Queen is your favourite? Like I said though, leave that in the comment section below because it always interests me. If you're new around here, why not hit that subscribe button because I release new coin content weekly. Thanks for watching.